All right. Good evening, morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Relus, and welcome back to Contradiction. Ah, uh, this is this game. I might actually continue recording until completion, like straight. So I don't know if I'm going to actually be leaving any other games in right now. But I'm fully loving this game. This game is awesome. So. Last time we learned that Emma was having an affair with Ryan, who's, if you remember, is the husband of Rebecca. And Emma and Kate argued at the back of the pub before Kate died. They were arguing because apparently Kate was going to blackmail Ryan. Because she knew that Emma and Ryan were banging. And someone thought that was funny. Um, so, uh, what they're doing, uh, the uh, class, uh, part of like their uh, uh, seminar is to do something you normally won't do. And pretty much not caring about the repercussions. So Kate thought it was going to be funny to turn that back onto Ryan and blackmail him. I think Emma might have killed Kate. Because if she told, if she went to blackmail Ryan, chances are that would have blown up in her face and Rebecca's face. So to keep everything quiet, she quieted uh, Kate. And that's what I think. But let's go talk to Ryan. We need more evidence on this. And, uh, I'm pretty sure he is going to be in his office. Are you in yet? Yes! Ryan! Yes. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm conducting an investigation in the area. Wouldn't mind asking you a few questions, all right? <sighs> Come in, Inspector. Thank you. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Drink, Inspector. I'd better not, eh? <laughs> so you wanted to speak to me? I believe that uh, Kate Vine was a student at Atlas. <laughs> Kate Vine? Yes. Well, yes, she was. All of this has been thoroughly investigated, Inspector. It was suicide. Well, we have reason to believe there may be rather more to it than that. Really? Well, then in that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. Thank you. He knows something. He knows something, and I'm gonna find it out by asking him about an unlocked bicycle. Does Simon Thompson ride a bike, do you know? I think so, yes. I, th I think he drives as well, but I might be mistaken. Oh, he's nervous. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna be serious. Let's ask about Kate Vine. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday. Then you came straight back with some of the students. Is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long day. And benefits of being married to the landlady. How did she seem that night? The landlady. Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, <laughs> she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual. It was for her, yes. I mean, it didn't impair her ability, though. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she seemed to be enjoying the course? Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. When did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean, did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. It was quite a shock. Nobody expected that. Hmm. Everything is looking towards a uh, murder. 
Have you seen this before? Can't wait to get to the mask. Not that I recall. You don't know whether Kate had lost this or not. Uh, uh, no, I've, I've never seen it before. Sorry. I am really liking the uh, acting on this. I have a feeling that some of these things they did not tell the actors about and just had them improv reacting. Like, uh, I wonder if the driver's license was just thrown in and one person knows about it. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, one not broken pendant. Homebrew. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> no, I haven't had the pleasure, sorry. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be important at all. Like, further on in the game. Know what this is? Yes. It's a freedom necklace. Uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. Have you ever bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. That's interesting. So he uses the uh, bird out of the cage as their symbol. So the students go and buy them. What do you know about the broken window at the back of the pub? Oh, uh, Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. I told her to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. You have to be very health and safety conscious these days. <laughs> he thinks that's a load of shit. Okay. You know what? I'm going to save that. <laughs> I'll come back to Tell it in a minute. Tell me about this. Ah, it's, uh, it's the first one we ever had made. We had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks? I didn't like that, Inspector. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. Well, actually, somebody left a book and I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like this guy! Alright, uh, kids' argument. That's probably Do you know going. anything about an argument in the pub last Friday? What time? I believe it wasn't long after the pub opened. No. I usually leave for the manor house about 6. Uh, I start preparations around 6.30. I like to get a head start. Alright. Black scrying mirror. Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You, you know. have seen one before. Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? really? Yes. I, when I was in my teenage years, <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child. Uh, and, well, not that you could tell. Always playing fantasy games, reading books about that kind of malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, books on black magic, not the chocolates. <laughs> um, witchcraft, satanic rituals, that kind of thing. I, I grew out of it, of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. I think uh, he still I mean, is. I just need to believe in the supernatural, Inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't you think so? Actually, he does have a point with that, but... All right, cardboard mask. Can you tell me about this? <laughs> Haven't seen that for a while. We had a friend who used to make them for us for the course. He passed away last year. What does the uh, symbol mean? Uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the symbol of the triple goddess. The mother, maiden, and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. Um, ah! It's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's a symbol we, we dabbled with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. 
Oh, hmm. Okay, the symbol's not used on the course. That would explain why that mask was in the storage shed. Alright. I think I've asked everything. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. I didn't get rid of much of anything that I can take away from this. Literally. Unless I can go and talk to someone with an updated thing with a mask slash mirror. However, I'm going to take a trip along the path real quick to uh, try to uh, see if something new happens. Like so! Do you mind not defacing public property, please? What's it to you? Well, I'm a policeman. And that's supposed to make what difference exactly? It means that you do exactly what I tell you to do. Or what? Or you arrest me? No, I'll give you a fine this time. So, if I do something that you don't like, I have to give you some money? What happens if you do something that I don't like? You're going to give me some money? Look, I do not have time to discuss it at the moment. Can you just go? Pathetic. I know that. I did a video on that before. What a prize brat. Ooh. But why would he carve that into a tree? Either he's a die-hard rock fan or there's more to that symbol than meets the eye. Yeah, I don't think he finished uh, doing the... It's supposed to be... Uh, the... Devil's Horns, and this is like the goatee or something. But I did a video on that a, uh, a little while back about like uh, Satanism in uh, uh, Disney, which is just a load of shit. And they're still there. Wait, aren't the are those the two people I just caught facing that tree? I don't think so. But also, again, my confusion with the whole symbol thing. Why would you just carve it into a random tree? What are you? Private eye? Uh, no, I'm a police inspector. Who are you looking for? I'm investigating a death in the village. That student, then. They did one last year, too. Same place. Really? Did what? Round a student. Ask that psycho about it. He runs that business cult thing up at the, the big house. I was just <sighs> not there. Just... Uh, uh, hey, uh, what was the student's name? Liam something. Oh, sod. No one's mentioned Liam yet. Atlas's reputation precedes them. I think I might call the station, find out a bit more about this Liam. Hello, DCI Jones speaking. Mike, uh, it's Jenks. Oh, Jenks, I thought you clocked off tonight. Yeah, the Chief's put me on a case tonight, the Edenton girl. Friday night, you poor sod. I thought that was sorted out anyway. I wish it was. Listen, are you near a computer? Uh, I can't be. Yeah, go on. Do you know anything about a death last year? Someone called Liam in Edenton Village? Uh, don't remember it. Hang on, someone. Edenton Village. 
yeah, Liam Rogers. It's a suicide last year. Suicide? I've gone two suicides in two years, both on Edenton. Only you've got your work cut out, Jexy. Yeah, don't I know it. Right, well, good luck with that and see you Monday. Thanks, Mike. I changed my mind. I don't think Emma's the one that killed Kate. Kate might have been sacrificed in the ritual. And it was an easy pick for her. Because she, did she already confront Ryan after the uh, argument? Like maybe uh, caught him by the lake or something? And he sacrificed her. Hmm. I was thinking of talking to Ryan about this new information first, but I might go to the other uh, people get some more. Uh, I am going to the Abbey Farm first. Why couldn't I just teleport to the Abbey Farm? A few more questions, if you don't mind. If I did that, yes, a new thing. Anything to you? Yeah, it's a Satanism symbol. Satanists use it. Have you ever seen anyone using it? Lots of people, politicians, presidents, CEOs. Have you ever seen anyone local using it? Not that I remember. I'm sorry, making the uh, mustachio look the air again. Oh, that's a good itch. Alright. <laughs> so I already knew this was Satanism. That was weird. What the hell happened? Alright, now Liam's death. Did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who died. You mean Liam who killed himself? Yeah. He was in my year, on a different course. What course was Liam on? Can't remember, not mine. What was yours? Plant science. First time I knew about Liam was when he killed himself. Right, so you didn't meet him? Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Okay. Time to talk to Rebecca. I have some new shit to ask you. First, I'm going to see if there's anyone in the restaurant. Nope. A few more questions, if you don't mind. If I did this, would that mean anything to you? Why, is it meant to mean something? No, no, it's okay. Hmm. What do you know about Liam? You mean Liam who took his life? He used to play in a band, Black Rock or something. No, Black Stone. Um, very Black gothic. Stone. I used to let them play in here sometimes at the weekends. They were quite good. Did you know there was anything wrong? I mean, why he might have... No, I, I didn't know him very well. I kind of wish Blackstone was a thing up here because I kind of want to ask about Blackstone now. Be back later on if that's okay. 
Black Stone. So he wasn't a gothic type fan. How far into goth did he go? Did he actually go all the way into Satanism? Or was he a legitimate goth? There you go. No offense to anybody. Thank you. It's just, I'm going to do a video on it later. Smells nice. What is that? Uh, chili pork. I oh, have no idea you were a cook. Oh, no, 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 I used to. Used to be more into it. No, I don't do it so much. I used to grow my own herbs and everything. Not here. Uh, no. Uh, at the farmhouse where you used to live? Oh, where was that? That's where James lives. Yeah, we used to share a house together. Oh. The farmer used to let us use a corner of his greenhouse to grow stuff. I didn't know you knew James that well. Well, didn't really get on. Where are the greenhouses? Well, it's just through the farmyard at the back. Interesting. Oh. If I did, uh, this, would that mean anything to you? <laughs> Who did you see doing that? Someone in the woods, carving it into a tree. That was Kyle. It, it's a guy from the course, he's an idiot. And where does he live? I can't remember, somewhere outside the village? The three fingers thing is something the students started doing. It's something from the course. The, uh, the three freedoms. The what? The Three Freedoms? It's from the course. It's um, a phrase. Free to be free. Free yourself from the things that are holding you back, right? Uh, things that stop you being successful. What are they? There's uh, uh, fear of failure, uh, guilt, and uh, a doubting, uh, a self-doubt. You believe that? That's... Yeah. Guilt ruins lives. It stops you looking forward. It... <clears throat> It serves no practical purpose. It's basically destructive. Right. Hmm. Free to be free. Not the most original slogan, but I wonder how far this freedom goes. Interesting. They do sort of have a point with the guilt, except... Uh, with human nature, especially within... Uh, uh, civilization. If you do something that affects someone, it's it's like a uh, learning mechanism that's been ingrained into human society. You feel bad, so it prevents you from doing something like that again. Interesting. What do you know about Liam? Liam? Local lad. Took his mind. Oh, that Liam! Yeah, yeah, I heard about him. But you didn't know him? No, I... I know he went to college, but... Didn't really know him. It's sad, though. Interesting. Okay. Okay, nice that's it for now. Sexy Thank woman. You. Time to talk to you. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? That face! No. Why? It's okay. Thanks. If I did this... He'll see. What do you know about a student called Liam? Committed suicide last year. Um, only that I didn't know him really well. No, she knows more about Liam. Do you know the phrase free to be free? Yeah, it's an Atlas thing. I first heard it when I went with Simon. What did they say about it? They said that you shouldn't feel guilty if you do something wrong. I don't agree with that. No? No. No, I think you should feel guilty if you do something wrong. What did uh, Simon think? I don't know, but I don't think he agreed with that either. <laughs> he agrees with it. So 
So she feels guilty about what she did with Ryan. So she's less and less becoming a uh, suspect. Thank you. Probably be back later. I kind of fully suspect Ryan now. I think Ryan sacrificed Kate. All right. There's greenhouses back here, so can I investigate the uh, greenhouses? Simon mentioned another greenhouse on the farm. Must be up the hill over there. Go further up. Let's see what's here. I was about to say, look at that water animation. Then I remember this real, uh, real, uh, like, uh, recording. Yay, there's something here. Ooh, interesting. I wonder Wait. if James knows this is here. Don't know what it is, but it'd be interesting to see what he says about it. Let's see if there's something new in this greenhouse. Nope, doesn't look it. I'm still keeping it in the back of my mind about a uh, flashlight that I still need to obtain somehow. A couple more questions, if that's okay. A literally couple more. Ever hear the phrase, free to be free? Heard anyone use that? Nah. What is it, a song? No, I don't think so. Doesn't matter. Packet of dried leaves. Could you tell me what these are, please? I found them in the greenhouse. Be snooping around on the farm, have we? It's called investigating, James. Yeah. It's just mint. Mint leaves. For cooking. Yeah, I, uh... I heard you were a bit of a budding chef. Dabble a bit. Won a few competitions. Very impressive. Ooh. So you normally just leave packets of mint lying around? Must have dropped it. I don't think that's mint. I'm starving. Of course not. Thank you. Probably be back later. Alright, so that's... That's something. That's something and I'm gonna... Like... Show this to someone. Probably Simon. And he's gonna tell me something. Nope, nothing will be down here yet. It's gonna shake things up. But I wanna talk to Ryan again. I'm going to see if there's anything- OH! Would you start a session, do you mind? I'm terribly sorry, I'll leave you in peace. Ah, uh, there- Gotcha! A few more questions, please. Thank you. Something's gonna- Turn up there later. <laughs> I 
If I did this, would that mean anything to you? It's a devil sign, isn't it? He knows right off. Is that what you're getting at, Inspector? This is not something you use on the course. Of course it's not something we use on the course, Inspector. I don't even know what that could possibly mean, exactly. Simon says you do use it, but it's something different. I'm going to ask him about the drive leaves uh, Do you first. know what this is? Looks like uh, chopped tea bags to me. <laughs> what is it? I just thought you might know. I don't know anything about plants, Inspector. What you should do is ask Rebecca. She knows far more Ooh! about these things than I do. Uh, messy things, <laughs> growing things. <laughs> I think I will. All right, now I'm about to hit you Can with a contradiction. Can you tell me a bit about the phrase "free to be free"? <laughs> free to be free, my favorite motto. Well, we teach our students that people, uh, well, they suffer from excessive guilt, don't they? Excessive self-criticism, excessive doubt. Evils of excess, we call them. <laughs> and we tell our students that if they rid themselves of these... Wait, evils, evils of excess or success? ...realise their full potential. Who came up with all this? I have a background in psychology. Honestly. Oh! Yeah, don't look so surprised, Inspector. Uh, there's an intellect lurking in here. When did you come up with the phrase? Uh, when we were based at the village hall. Uh, when I say we, I came up with the phrase, uh, dance more the money man. And very successful at it too, I hear. Oh, he's successful, uh, but he's not a creative man. Dad suffers from a, a lack of imagination. Gotcha. I forgot to ask What can you tell me about Liam? Oh, Liam. You mean the boy who committed very unfortunate sin? Did you know him? Oh, yes, yes. Well, well, I say know him. I met him in the pub. Seemed very happy sort of person. Well, I say he seemed happy. He can't have been, can he? <laughs> okay, so. Oh, come on, I know it's there. The fingers is a devil sign. That's freedom phrase. Oh, come on. I want to shake that out and learn more about it. <sighs> Damn it. Oh wait, you used to read about black magic and satanic rituals. Doesn't know how the finger symbol could be used. Oh, come on! It's there! I know it's there!
That's all for the moment. Thank you. <sighs> I know it's there. I wish I could just yell at the game and have it understand. You practice Satanism. You use this on your course. Liam, or not Liam. Simon just told me about it. Alright, let's talk to Ask you a couple more things, please. Ever heard the phrase, free to be free? Do you mean the Atlas thing? Yes, I have. Know what it means? It means being free of guilt. What do you think about that? You mean, do I think it's a bad thing? Do you? I mean, surely if you have done something wrong. Oh, but that's the point, Inspector. Most people spend their time feeling guilty over nothing, and that's not a good thing. Mm hmm Do you know what these are? Oh, magic mint. Where did you find this? Magic, magic mint. Salvia divinorum. I used to grow it years ago. It makes you trip. In what way? It's a hallucinogenic and legal. Quite a dangerous combination, really. Do you use it? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no, I don't even take medicines. I, um, I like to stay pure. I didn't expect Rebecca to know about growing drugs. I know she claims not to use them herself, but I'm not so sure. Interesting. I'm good. Okay, I know what to Be do. Be back later on if that's okay. However, I want to see if something happens here because he talked about his dad. Let's see if I can talk to him yet. No, that's probably later. In fact, I might have all the stuff I need. Alright, I'm going to cut the chase and go right to him. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, James? Was that skin cream? <sighs> it's not a he skin knows. cream, no. It's a plant. Really? Don't know much about plants. So you've never heard of Salvia? No. Um, excuse me. You know a lot about plants. I know who goes. Thank to. you. Probably be back later. <laughs> Probably. No, no, he's done something. He's. I'm gonna shake him up, and he's going to tell me important information I need to know to solve this case. Simon, ask about a few more things, please. Know what these are? No. They look a bit like sage leaves. Haven't seen them before, though. Not at all, no. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? Salvia Divinorum? Uh, no, magic mint, same thing. Oh, yeah, you mean the drug? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that. Yeah, I've tried it. 
But like once or twice, yeah. But it's not really my sort of thing. It messes with your brain. I've never tried any other drugs either. Well, nothing like that, nothing hallucinogenic. That did not give me what I needed to know. Because I have a feeling that... What's-his-face had, uh... Uses the magic mint in his tea. That's where Simon tried it. Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. Oh, I meant to visit Emma. Shit, shit, shit. Couple more questions, if that's okay. You know what these are, by any chance? No. Sorry. I I don't know anything about plants or things like that, but you should ask Rebecca. She used to live on a farm. She'd know. Ever heard of Salvia divinorum? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. It's a drug, isn't it? Yeah. Hallucinogenic drug. Ever tried it? No. No, I've never taken any illegal substances. So she, and here's the thing, I know it's like, no, I've never seen these uh, plants before. Here. Oh yeah, I've heard of that plant that you just handed to me, yeah. Uh, it's easy to know a thing, like hear about it, but not recognize it. I've heard of LSD before. A lot of places. It's become a uh, run gag. But I've never seen it. I don't even know how you take it, if it's a pill, if it's powder if it's an injection. I'm assuming it's a pill. I have no idea. So I could be like, yeah, I've heard about LSD and what it can do. No, I don't recognize this pill at all. Thank you. Probably be back later. Okay. Questions, please. Have you ever heard of Salvia divinorum? No. Um, what is it? It's a hallucinogenic plant, a legal one, at least for the moment. I've no interest in drugs, Inspector. My job. That's the only drug I need, as trite as that may sound. Do you know any students who may have used hallucinogens? No. No. My students aren't interested in that kind of thing. Besides, no one is allowed drugs or alcohol onto the site. I don't think anyone has ever brought drugs to Atlas. Do you have any medicines on site at all? No, we're not allowed insurance purposes. You're drinking alcohol right now. Okay, so I have some interest in drugs. My students ever brought drugs to Atlas. Doesn't allow drugs or alcohol on town. Friends doesn't keep any medicines on site.
Huh. Okay, there's two contradictions I need to figure out how to trigger. He's done st uh, satanic stuff, and I believe he's still doing it. Just gotta figure out how to trigger it. And I know that uh, what's his face has done stuff like that, but I don't know. I can't. I'm gonna have to end the episode here. Uh, this is the first time in this game I'm gonna have to do stuff off screen. Thankfully, I can replay stuff. Like, replay the answer? I think I can do the contract. Replay the contract. Anyway, I'm gonna try to figure stuff out off screen, so. Once again, no spoilers, but I still wanna know what you guys think of it so far. Um. Click on whatever thumb you think is appropriate for this video. Subscribe if you're enjoying my content. I still want to do stuff with like the whole like community. Uh, I'm slowly climbing up to 100, but 100 is where I want to be. And also having like people actually interacting, so once I reach that point, I want to do stuff. Maybe, maybe some Minecraft stuff or like EverQuest or something. That'd be cool. But I ramble. And until next time, stay white and nerdy.